so welcome everybody. Welcome to our podcast for tonight. The we are still continuing on the endocrine, working on the endocrine. And uh, today is the last day in November. So November 30th, 2023. And this is um podcast number four on um healing the endocrine system. And I was uh, we originally I want to concentrate on adrenals, but when, when I was actually doing more research on you know what what is going to help with the adrenals, adrenals actually is one of those things that is involved by um, so many different systems. So um, what are the systems within our body? We have the endocrine system, um, respiratory, cardiovascular nervous system, immune system, digestive, reproductive, elimination system. So all of these different systems. And um, a lot of these actually, um, it, it would draw from the, the adrenals. So so in, in working with the adrenals, it's it's like, yeah, I, I was thinking that, you know, just, just focus on this very tiny little gland and uh, it should be easy, but actually <laughs> it's a tiny gland, but it's definitely not easy. So the adrenals actually involve so many other um, parts of our body. And I just want to, what I want to do is to take everybody through the, the, um, Mm, there are eight different um, systems within the body and I just want to kind of show you all what you can do to um, start to I wouldn't say heal but actually to get your body to look at that particular system so the first one is the endocrine system which um, we which is our main focus so um, let's so let's do this let's um so I just want to mention that what I'm practicing now is really master energy dynamics. So MED. So MED is really a, um, a language where you communicate with your body because our body actually does a lot of things just automatically. However, when you communicate with the body, you start to um, let your body know what it is that you need you want it to do um to focus on so you kind of give it some a bit more direction and when you do it more i would say more um when you do it intelligently you actually help your body's function so without you saying anything the the body has two different or, or two major things is to protect the the head and protect the heart so those are the two major organs anything else or almost everything else are um, auxiliary to that so if we if we couldn't if we don't have a head if we don't have a brain or if we don't have our heart then we we just don't live we, you're not alive anymore so that's why those two are the 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 major organs and your whole body just um would get more give most of the resources to protecting these two um specific organs however that's only when we are in stress and when we are in uh, extreme situations but most of the other time the other um, systems we still need to function so um and if we have been under stress for a long time then a body may be kind of stuck in a uh, um, detour where it kind of forgets about some of the other important function that is supposed to and, and in our kind of lifestyle now that can happen. So what the first thing I want to do is actually go through each of those eight system and just bring them online, show you a way that you can bring them online. Bring them online simply means you put them um, kind of on, on the screen so that your, your conscious mind knows um, to look at them, to see them. So when you see something, then you can do something about it. So first, first thing is endocrine and the um, 
the endocrine is is 12 o'clock. So what do I mean by 12 o'clock? So if you think of, you know, this, um, let's say the eye, the iris behind me is the face of a clock and 12 o'clock is like this. So, so this is the, the um, kind of a sign to let your body know that, okay, we want to work with the endocrine system. So work with the, endo endo the endocrine system. So let's all do that, um, or, or I should say, I am going to be the proxy for all of you. So you, if you like, you can do that with me or not. If not, then um, that's okay. I'm the proxy for all of you. So I'm kind of just testing. So how is everybody's endocrine system? Okay, needs help. So first thing then, so how, what do we do when we um, need help? Is we run the eye patterns. Remember the 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 um, infinity sign that we've been doing for a couple of weeks now. So let's do that. So eyes without moving your head, just move your eyes to the upper right hand corner, and just stay there for a little bit. And then now look down on the right. And then up to the left. Stay there for a little bit. Oosh, there's a lot here. So just breathe, remember? Just deep breathing. That's all you need to do. <laughs> Still processing. <laughs> There's a lot going on in the left upper corner. Okay, seems to be dying down now. So down on the left and then up to the right again. And just breathe, take a couple of deep breaths here. Okay, that's good. So um, somebody mentioned about digestion. So let's um, let's see, let's link up the endocrine with the digestive system here. So in relation to, so digestive system is um, down to the left. Okay, so how many patterns? That's a lot of patterns here. 55, 7, 58, about 59, about 59. Okay, just shy of 60. So just again, do the eye movement again. Um, so up to the Right. Stay there for a bit. Down on down to the right.
it will still here um, lower right hand corner with the eye pattern. Okay, up to the left. And remember to breathe, deep breathing. Releasing a lot now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, good. Oh, still going on. So releasing. <laughs> okay. Getting better now. Okay, down from the down to the left. Stay here. Okay, up to the right again. So let's just what what's going on in the um, energetically now is I've linked the endocrine system and the digest and the digestive system together. So those two systems are talking and resolving any um, and trying to resolve any issues that. It can without any further directions from us. So your body is doing that. And then after that, then we can <clears throat> we can do some things that are more specific. How is everybody doing so far? That I move may make me sleepy. <laughs> Which is probably what you need to do is to rest. I got tear in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Vinny, uh, could it be also that old uh, health issues come up at this time? Um, yeah, because I'm linking these two systems together, so it's it's trying to resolve some mm -hmm. some things. Because I have a similar problem to Trevor's, but my pressure is actually low right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm feeling a lot of you know, diaphragm moving up and throwing up and 
coughing very hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So that's what I meant. Like my old issues are coming up and I I haven't changed it to my habits or anything. Yeah, um, because the energy is really um, supporting. It's um, because you actually, your body is actually processing so many things now. So you don't know how stress, you don't, you don't quite consciously know how stressed it is. Mm. That's why it, I, I, I've been saying along that you really have to pay attention to yourself, to your body now. Thanks. Your body just needs to be supported. So I've just done the two, just some endocrine and digestive. We actually still have a few others to go through, but that's okay. I think I'm releasing something from my stomach. What was that again? I said I'm burping. Hopefully release something from my stomach. Uh, yeah, we are doing we're doing digestive. Of course. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm not getting the the go ahead to carry on yet. So we're still we're still processing between linking these two systems. So let's um just keep on doing deep breathing. So what do I mean by deep breathing? Is allow your whole body to move when you are breathing. Don't just move your chest move your whole body. <laughs> My brother is cooking uh, pork chops now. I can smell it. <laughs> so much so for digestive. <laughs> The system is getting ready before we get the food. <laughs> I started feeling congestion in my sinuses and a little bit of a headache too, I guess. Okay. So it's around my thyroid in my neck. That's where I feel the most energy or action, some activity. So um I so as best you can try to sit um straight. So what do I mean by sit straight? Is imagine that there is a a string that is you know throughout your body and it's being 
and just that string is keeping you up. And uh, in terms of the sinus, let's uh, actually, let's do, let's open the four diaphragms. Remember I mentioned that we have more than just one primary diaphragm, we actually have four. So let's do a, so let's open, just consciously open the four diaphragms. The first one is the, the cranial. So it is um, right, where the atlas is. So the atlas is kind of the tip of the, um, your spine where the head sits on. It's, that's where the atlas is. So that's the first diaphragm. So just intentionally open that diaphragm. Breathe into it and allow it to open. And then just do the eye pattern again, so up to the right. Down on the right. Up to the left. Down on the left. And up to the right again. And just allow your cranial diaphragm to fully open. And then the next one is a thoracic diaphragm. So that one is where the, between the C7 and T1. So around um, neck area. Where is T1, C7, T1? It's where is the bomb? Um, so it is kind of around here, this neck area. Mm -hmm. It's lower? Yeah, that's where my problem is, just where you showed, or at least I feel something there. Okay, so just... Set the intention to open that diaphragm, and then so we do that. It's in front, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So do the eye pattern again, up to the right. Breathe into it. Down from the right. Up to the left. Down from the left. Mm -hmm. 
Breathing into it all along. And then up to the right again to finish that infinity loop. And then the next one is the primary diaphragm, which is between your heart and your stomach. That's the primary diaphragm. Just intend for that diaphragm to completely open up. And do the eye pattern again up to the right. Now, eyes are actually connected to our nervous system. So that's why we do the eye patterns, just to open up the nervous system. Down from the right. <laughs> that was a big one. To the left. Down on the left. And up, back up to the right again. And the fourth one is the pelvic diaphragm. So just um, where your hip, yes. So that diaphragm is holding up your stomach and all the intestine. That is the pelvic diaphragm. So just set an intention to release and open up that pelvic diaphragm. Up to the right. Down on the right. Up to the left. Down. And then back up to the right. How's everybody doing? Well, we kind of come to the left side. I burp a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm burping all the time. <laughs> yeah. The left side is, um, yeah, because, um, so, three systems on the left side. If you burp a lot when you're looking up, then that's the cardiovascular. 
but if you burp a lot when you're looking down, then that's digestion. Both are affected. My science is clear. Good. Yeah, I do. Yeah, the, the opening up the four diaphragms does help a lot. I can feel the, uh, the energy moving a lot better. Okay, so I'm getting the go ahead to do nervous system. So let's um, let's do the nervous system, which is left. So it's that the nervous system. Let's um, let's connect the endocrine with the nervous system. Okay, the plot thickens. <laughs> okay, so up to the right again. Mimi, just to make sure, do we look with both eyes to the right, then both eyes down to the left? Yeah, okay. move your eyes though, don't move your head. Because your your eyes, is, um, the nerves, is, it's actually connected to your central nervous system. So move your eyes, but not your head. So both eyes up to the right. And remember to take deep breaths. Now that all four diaphragms are open. Were you trying to say something? Mm -hmm. oh, burping. The burping, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, now down on the right. Ooh. That's a big one here. And breathe through it. Okay. Up to the left. Down to the, down on the left. Okay, up to the right again. So complete that infinity. Let's just stay here for a bit nervous system. Okay.
calling in angels of the crystal grid to assist us to And the other one is help. A lot of emotional system here, emotional things here in the nervous system. Ooh. How's everybody doing? Doing good. Okay, excellent. I feel I release a lot, but I feel dizzy. Okay. <laughs> dizzy, okay. Imagine yourself being supported by, being connected to and supported by Mother Earth. Okay, that, that works. Better? Yes, thank you. Okay, good. Let's um let's focus on the adrenos. Okay. So this keeps coming to me. Is the uh, pelvic adaptation too? So let's let's put that in. Is it left side or right side? Left side. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense because we did we we've done the right side already. So that's good.
the adrenals, I just want to mention something is um, vitamin C. It's best if you take whole food vitamin C. It really helps with the adrenals. You know what, and what I'm getting? Next week, we need to do a digestion. We have to focus on digestion. This week, um, I want to do a little bit with adrenals and a little bit with digestion. But next week, we'll have to focus on digestion. You guys doing better now? Yeah, yeah. much better. It's the top of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I ask a question or later on? Sure, you go, go ahead and ask a question. Mm -hmm. So I've noticed that um, lately, during the meditation or when I do meditation myself, my body started, you know, to shake. Is it the somatic experience I have or it's my nerves? I don't know. Why do I start to shake all of a sudden? Starting to shake. Um, were you sitting up or were you lying down? Anytime when I meditate. I mean, were you sitting up or lying down? I can do shaking when I laying down or when I sitting. Oh, okay. Both. Okay. Both. Mm -hmm. Is it my nerves or it just somatic experience like... I releasing something. I don't understand. It never happened before. Um. Okay. So the energy is just trying to come up when you meditate, and so it's um. It is just. So shaking, trying to get through, 
the pathways. So that's what it's doing. Oh, nice. So it's good thing. I thought that I've become too nervous <laughs> for something. Did you feel nervous? No, I actually feel more calm mm -hmm. lately. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's why I said um, it's really your body is just trying to shake something loose to get through. So, okay. so it's a good thing. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Are you taking a lot of vitamin C, Tatiana, right now? Yeah, today I took already like two or three thousand. Yeah, it comes off in your urine, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. So I'm going to do a few digestive things, but I don't want to do too much because I'm getting, I'm giving the don't do too much sign mm -hmm. with you with you guys. So just calm down a little. No. Yeah. Yes, I don't want to do too much and then make you guys feel uncomfortable all at once, which is counterproductive. So let's do something that is more like start to do something and then next week we can continue on. Okay, so let's do the, um, let's activate the digestion. I feel that one. Yep, good. This is a good one to activate digestion. Okay, activate the stove. That's good. No, okay. How are you guys feeling now? And I can feel energy moving very fast around me. So, so it seems like um something is um cleared.
I was hot earlier, but now I'm feeling a little chill. Mm -hmm. It's the same here. I was sweating at the beginning. Now a little same bit. Here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still feeling the chills or not? No, it's better. Yeah, it's better. It's, um, it takes um, a while to kick in. Um, this is this is not a heat. This is a warmth that's moving through. So it's more gentle. Yeah, I think that's all I I would do with all of you. So to be continued next week. Um, next week we are really specifically working more on digestion. It's still part of the um, endocrine, but we are bringing into the more digestive system in with the endocrine system. Thank you. That's good. It's really help. Thank you, Vini. Thank yeah. you so much. You should feel more calm now. No, I, at least that's how I I feel. Yes, I do feel calm. Me too. <laughs> Excellent. I'm going to try to send you something that you can or use um so when i do when i send the replay out so just one more check in before i sign off so everybody is okay or I need to take care of anything Good. Yes, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Vini. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.